Hey everyone, it's Audrey with AudreyAstoyak.com and I just wanted to get on here and do a real quick video tutorial for you from a question that I received on another video that about how do you connect the fonts or the you know letters in a cursive font using the iPad Design Space app. And so that's what I wanted to show you how to do in this video. And if this video does help you in any way, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that little uh, bell so that you can make sure that you get all of these video tutorials. So let's jump right in and get this show on the road. All right, so here is the um, home screen of my iPad. And what I'm gonna do is just click on the Cricut app right here and what i'm going to do is just tap on new project all right and here we are the first thing that you're going to do is obviously write some text right so tap on text and then from here you can choose the cricut fonts that you have so if you do have a membership and you're um i believe you're paying i don't know how much it is now but if you're paying for their fonts then you'll have access to them here or you can click on your system fonts and these are all the fonts that are on your ipad now if you haven't had an opportunity to watch my um, other video that shows you how to download fonts onto your iPad for Design Space. Be sure to check that out and I'll leave a link um, in the description below this video. But so today what we're gonna use is the font Autumn in November. And so I chose that and now I'm just gonna type in my own name. And so if you notice, you have these letters are all separated. And so we need to connect these so obviously the Cricut doesn't cut these out just like this, okay? So first thing that I do is I make this really, really big so that I can get a bigger detail. So what I'm doing is I'm just choosing the um, two arrows right there to the bottom right and just making this much bigger, okay, on my screen. And so now I have my iPad where it's vertical. So some of you may be using it horizontal and you can make it even bigger. This is just the way I like to work. So making sure that your text is highlighted and you can tell because you've got all of these um, elements or all of these things that you can choose right here. Tap on the edit button down here at the bottom. And when you tap on that edit, you're gonna notice where it says letter space. And this is what you want to tap on. So now what we can do is if you know the letter spacing that you want, for this font, for this um, font, then you can go ahead and put that in here. I don't normally know. I don't work with it that that often, you know, or this font. So what I'm going to do is you can make it um, closer together by tapping on this a negative minus sign or you can tap on this plus sign so what i'm going to do is i'm going to tap on the negative because what i'm doing is i am the letter spacing making the letter spacing much smaller so i'm just going to do this until you see these lines that are right here okay i want them to be hidden within here so i usually just take this in until I don't see those two lines anymore. Let's see. And I think, nope, I got, okay, right there. Okay, so now you can see where it looks like it just all flows together. However, this one is not flowing together. I need to move this R over some, which means I'm gonna have to move my E and Y. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna tap off of here. Now, down to the bottom where it says actions, I want you to, making sure that this is highlighted, okay, it's still selected, and tap on actions. Now this actions, what we need to do is ungroup. So I'm gonna tap on ungroup, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna ungroup all of these letters here. So you can notice that I can tap on the D now and the R. Okay, and once I have this selected, I'm gonna tap and hold it down, and I'm gonna move it over until it 
goes right in there. You notice how it just snapped into place? But now you notice that this is um, not within there and or you know within the e so now we've got to get the e and the y so i'm going to show you how i do it and i usually tap over here okay on my screen and then i hold it down while moving my finger or whatever i'm using and i select the e and the y so now they're selected together now what i can do is tap on it again and i can move this over until you can't see it anymore and this is perfect right here the way that i have it now what i have to do though is i need to weld this together if you do not weld this together what happens is remember when we before we even move these together this was like the a and it had just an a and then the u and the d and it wasn't all connected what happens is when the cricket goes to cut it it will cut them individually and it's horrible so you want to make sure you weld this together so that when the cricket goes to cut it you're gonna you know use it like this it's gonna cut around this all right so what i need to do what you need to do <laughs> is tap again and highlight all of the letters so i'm gonna tap outside of here and the reason why i tap over here is because if you tap too close you're gonna just click you're going to select this so i usually like to tap over here and then i hold it down and then what i do is i just grab all of these and now they're all together and back down here you want to go make sure you're on actions so let me get back to actions and then i'm going to tap on the weld so i'm going to weld it and now it's all one word and all of the letters are connected so i hope this tutorial helped you out and if it did help you uh, be sure to subscribe like i said and hit that bell so that you're notified anytime that i upload videos i'm going to be doing a lot more videos on the ipad and design space and hey if you have any questions about it leave it in the comment section below until then y'all be blessed bye